Welcome to session two in our 15 minute fundamentals. What I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on from our last session where we got an introduction to the SAP Business One user interface. Now there's quite a few additional things that you can do once you've covered the basics. So what I thought I'd do in this session is go into a little bit more detail. Some of the things that we didn't cover in the last session, you may have figured out, um, you know, with trying to keep these sessions to 15 minutes, uh, it can be a little bit of a challenge when there's so many things that that, that, that can be uh, explained with SAP Business One. So I will try and keep this one to the 15 minutes. So without any further ado, let's get going. So remember the last session we talked about all the different modules that you had available and we now have our cockpit switched on. So you've got each of the modules available here in the menu. But another thing that you need to be aware of is that you can take this menu and you'll see this little triangle here that's on its side. You can click on there and what that will do, that will push the menu off to the side. Now of course if you want to bring the menu back you then just simply click on the option here on the side. A couple of other things that you can do. Occasionally um, some people do close the menu down completely and you'll see there is an option here up under the window and you'll see you've got the main menu. So if you close the main menu down uh, what you can also do is as well as clicking on the modules here on the side, you can also use your control key function. So you can go control zero and that will open up those, uh, those menu options as well. Now you might be more comfortable with having more of your screen available. So you push this across to the side and then you can also then go up here into your modules and you can go up here and you can click on the modules menu option and you'll see each of those modules then comes up and those functions are then available for you from this drop down menu. So there's multiple ways of being able to work with uh, navigating throughout the system. And again, remember, if you've got your um, cockpit switched on, then you can, of course, just bring the common functions that you've got here from the menu, you can bring them across here. So let's say, for example, you are given responsibility for doing service and you're starting to record a lot of service calls. Well, again, all you need to do, click on the service call, remember, drag it across here, drop it into your common functions, and that's there for you. So that's a little bit more about navigating around the system. But again, remember the important thing there is if you ever close down the menu and you can't remember how to reopen it again, you can go up here to window and you can choose main menu or of course you can press control zero. Next thing I wanted to show you is when you're looking for your master data and your documents, you can also do a search up here where we were looking for um, our inventory items and customers before. What you're also able to do is you can search on those functions. So you'll see here on our little search icon, you've got the choice to search the data or search your menus. So you can go in here to search menus and then if you start typing service calls, you'll then see all of the different menu options that are available for you based on each of those functions. So there's everything for service. And you might also be looking at order entry. So if you go in and you start typing order, then you can see these are all the different menu functions. So going into back orders, sales orders, and so on and so forth. And of course, then you can just simply click on that option and it will open up that screen for you. Remember as well that you can maximize these screens to take advantage of all your available space. Just those standard uh, Windows options are available there. You've got the ability to maximize uh, and resize your Windows back down again. So it makes things nice and easy. While we're here, let's actually take a look at another area. Uh, let's look at our business partners for the sake of the exercise. And we're looking at our business partner master data. So again, I'm using that lookup functionality to bring up our business partner master data. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do a lookup. So I'll just go to the first business partner record that's in the system. Now, there's a couple of things that you can do to start customizing the screens to make them a little bit more what you want. What do I mean by that? Well, let's say, for example, in your organization, you don't call your business partners, um, you know, you don't call them business partner names. You might want to call it a client name or you might want to call it a client code because maybe the previous system that you used, that's what you referred to um, these business partners as. So to make the adoption of business 
business one a lot easier, you had the ability to go and tailor all of these field names inside SAP Business One. And all you need to do to tailor those those field names is, or you, you find the field name that you wanna change. So let's say, for example, I wanna change name to client name. You hold down your control key and you double click on the field. And then you can see here that you can give it a new description. So I can just simply go in here and say, this is gonna be called client name from now on. And I actually want this to be in bold because I wanna draw people's attention to it. And I can then say update. And then I'll say, okay. And now you'll see that screen has changed. So it now says client name. Now the good thing about this is, um, and the reason why I like to bold things like that, it gives you a visual cue that that is not the standard um, functionality, that is not the standard field name. But if you're ever not sure, if you're thinking, hang on, is that the right field? What you can do is you can hold down your control key, of course, and you can double click on it, and it shows you, well, here was the original description, and here is the new description that you've put in. And of course, you can go back in here and you can click the restore defaults, and then update and say okay. And again, it puts it right back to the way it was before. So that's a nice, um, a nice little thing to be aware of. Next thing I want to show you is when I, I give you an example. When I first sat down with SAP Business One back in 2003, I thought, wow, some of these screens are so simple. There's functionality that's missing that I just can't see. And then I suddenly realized that the issue was that a lot of functionality is hidden behind the right mouse click. So on pretty much every screen inside SAP Business One, if you click on your right mouse button, you'll see it brings up a whole range of additional functions. So for example, here on the business partner, you've got the capability to remove a business partner. Now, of course, bear in mind, the system has business rules. So this, this business partner has transactions, it has a balance. So if I was to go and try and run the remove business partner and I was to say, okay, then you'll see down the bottom here in our message bar, important one to remember, you get the red message, hey, you cannot remove a business partner because the balance doesn't equal to zero. Now, by the way, uh, if you went, oh, hang on, what was that last error message? I didn't quite see it. You can always go back up here to the window, say click on window, and then you will show the system messages log. All right, and that will then pop that up down the bottom. See here, you've now got your system messages log. You can bring that back up to its original size. And there it is, there's all the system messages. So you can see all of those different system messages. And there is the last one, you cannot remove a business partner with a balance that is not equal to zero. So fairly straightforward, fairly easy. And of course, you can narrow this down to say, I just wanna see, for example, the last five messages, and I only wanna see errors. I don't wanna see my information. So it's just showing me the last five errors that came up or of course, maybe the last five warnings that I got. Okay, so again, it makes it nice and simple, nice and easy for you to backtrack and figure out exactly what happened. So anyway, that's those, uh, that's those system messages. Back to our original topic, remember we had that right click option. So that's there on a whole range of these different um, on, on a whole range of these different screens. So for example, in SAP Business One, you have the ability to set up special prices for a business partner. So if I was to choose special prices for business partners, what it would do, because I already have a business partner selected, it automatically brings up that screen and pre-populates it with this business partner's data for me. All right, so if you're ever not sure, um, remember that right click is your friend. So let's go in, for example, I'm gonna open up a sales order because this is another really nice screen that has um, quite a bit of additional functionality which you might not be able to see at first take. So for example, here's my sales order. I can right click and you'll see I've got you know options here. The payment means what this is doing is if I wanna allocate a payment to the sales order at the time that the sales order has been processed. All right, if I wanna do a gross profit calculation on my sales order, so let's call up an existing sales order for the sake of the exercise. Um, let's actually go to our last sales order in the system. So if I wanna look at my gross profit on this, for example, I can right click and you'll now see because I've now got a record selected, I've got even more choices available to me. So remember, 
That's our context sensitivity. The system knows what you're looking at and will adjust accordingly. So again, I go and look at my gross profit and there you can see line by line, what is my gross profit on each of my lines? All right, so some really nice functionality that's available for you there. One other thing that, um, that, that I picked up when I was first learning how to use SAP Business One. Let's go in and I'm going to um, find a sales order. Now, you'll notice this sales order has a status of closed, so I can't utilize that sales order. I'm gonna go and find a sales order that's open. So here we go, here's an open sales order. Inside SAP Business One, there are a number of additional screens that you can get to as well. So you'll see if I right click on the quantity field, it shows me all these additional um, activities that I can see on the quantity field. But the key combination that I like is the control tab field, all right? And you'll see when you press control tab, it brings up different pieces of functionality. So for example, when you're on the, um, on the quantity field, control tab tries to do batch and serial number management. And you'll see there, look at my menu or look at my message bar, control tab, telling me, hey, batch and serial numbers aren't managed for this item. Okay, so again, it's gonna tell you all of that information. If I'm on the unit price and I hit control tab there, well, what does it bring up? It now shows you all the last times that you sold this product to this particular customer. And then you can narrow it down. You can say, show me just the special prices, show me the blanket agreements. These are the transaction types. Show me you know, the prices that um, were against each of these transactions. So you can say, you know what? Don't worry about down payments, invoices, or deliveries, orders, returns, or credit memos. I just wanna see the prices on my quotes. All right, so very, very nice functionality that's available for you there. And of course, remember, you've got your golden arrows, so you can click on the golden arrow and drill down and look at that quote in detail. Make sense? So again, that's another good keystroke combination that you can work with is your control tab. Next thing I wanna show you, oftentimes, and we're gonna talk about this a little bit more in our reporting, but oftentimes you wanna know, well, where is that data held? Because you know SAP Business One, like any ERP product, it's built on a database. So all of these fields um, have information about them. If you're looking for that information, how can you find it? Well, it's very, very easy with the SAP Business One. Because what you can do is you can come up here to your view option, and you can go up here and you can say view system information. Now what happens is, now that you've got view system information, look down the bottom here in your status area. As you hover over each one of these fields, it's showing you information about that field. So for example, my customer code, customer or vendor code, you'll see it's actually showing you the form, the item, the pane. We'll talk a little bit more about that when we get into some of the other things like formatted searches and customizing the interface. But you'll see the database table where this information is stored is your ORDR field. All right? So your ORDR field and or, or table. And this field is your card code field. So if you ever wanna do a query and you wanna retrieve this information, you're gonna get the information from the ORDR table and you're gonna get it from the card code field. All right, so hopefully that makes sense for you. Now there's some other things that you can do with these status windows as well. Um, give you an example, let's drill down to this customer. Again, there's my golden arrows, my, um, my business partner master data. Let's say, for example, I've decided that every time I call up a customer, I want to be able to see the account balance. So you can click on that field and you can drag that field down to one of these options. And if I release it there, it's now going to store that information. So that's our uh, account balance. And then I also want to see the dollar value in orders. So let's click on that field and we're going to drag that down. We're going to pop that in there. And then our number of opportunities, we're going to pop that down and we're going to put it 
over here. All right, so what you'll see now is that as I move through my business partners, so I'm now using these video navigation buttons to move through the business partners. I'm now looking at the next business partner. Their account balance is 1.2 million. There it is, I'm getting that 1.2 million. And these guys have got two sales opportunities, so there it is, that's showing a two. And not to labor the point, but why not? Um, the total value in orders that's sitting in the system is 1.03 million. So again, there is those fields. So that's another nice way of being able to see that information. So lots of things that you can do with the user interface as you get used to it in SAP Business One. Couple of other things. Um, when you're looking at a transaction, let's take a sales order, for example. In SAP Business One, a sales order can then be turned into a delivery, and a delivery can then be turned into an invoice. And then an invoice can actually have a credit note or a payment applied to it. Oh, and by the way, this sales order could actually come from a sales quotation, which is exactly the scenario here. See this sales order? If you look down the bottom under remarks, it says it's based on sales quotations and it's based on sales quotation number 1178. Well, there's a really nice piece of functionality in Business One. When you're on a screen, you can right click and you can choose the relationship map. Now what the relationship map does, and let's just make this a little bit bigger, the relationship map will actually show you all the related transactions and business objects that are linked back to this transaction. So you can see this business transaction was for this business partner, C6000. And again, you can double click on that and it'll open it up. All right, so the key to this is getting access to the information quickly. And this sales order came from this sales quotation. So again, you can double click on the sales quotation and you can open up that sales quotation. So very easy to get around. Now there's also a couple of other views that you can have here in your relationship map. Right now I'm looking at the document tree, so looking at the high level document and how these documents relate to one another. But you can also then go in and look at the posting items. So now it's showing you um, how is this sales order gonna be posting across, what's the posting date and so on and so forth. Okay, so again, I've gotten to this from the sales order, but I can still open the sales order up separately. And then you can also go in here, you can look at other things like what are the related items. So now showing you on this sales order, these are the item master data, um, or these are the items that are on that sales order. Now obviously if you had 10 or 15, you'd have all of those items listed. So again, Part of the fun with SAP Business One, if anybody ever called Enterprise Resource Planning fun, well, I'm going to. Uh, part of this, and it's fun when it helps you do your job, right? Uh, so part of the fun with using SAP Business One is how easy it is to get access to all this additional information. So for example, you can go in and you can even see your pick lists. Um, now there's no pick lists that have been created from this sales order yet. So remember your pick list is when you've pushed it out to the pick and pack process now. So you guys in your warehouse are now starting to pick the order. So you can see, has this been created into pick lists? So if you're trying to answer questions that are coming in from your customers, these features like the relationship map, um, like the control tab key, uh, like the right click button, make it really, really easy for you to find that information and answer those questions. At the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Okay. I know we're covering a lot in today's session, but there's just a, one more thing that I wanna show you, and it's very, very important. And that is the way that SAP Business One shows you your information in the system. Now, when you first go in and you wanna open up a business partner, watch what happens here. I'm gonna select my business partner master data from my menu. Now, do you see how all these fields are in yellow? That's because when you open up master data, when a master data screen opens up, it opens up in what's called find mode. So it assumes that you want to find some information. And that's why you'll see this button down here says find. So what you can do is you can go in here against these different fields and you can start typing um, words that you're looking for. All right, so you can go in there and you can hit put in print. And then if you click find, 
what it's going to do, it's going to try and find a business partner that has the word print in there. And you'll see in, your, in the message bar, it said, hey, there isn't anything that matches that. Let's go and take a look at Earth. And pressing enter will trigger the find function. So what does it do? It finds the first customer in the system that matches that string. All right, so important point to note, when you're opening master data for the very first time, it opens up in find mode. Now, if that's the case, you might be thinking, okay, well, hang on, what if I wanna go into add mode? I don't wanna find a business partner, I wanna add one. Well, you'll see up here on the toolbar, you actually have a toolbar option that allows you to swap between find and add mode. And here it is here. If I wanna to switch to add mode, I simply click on that button. You'll now see all those fields have changed. My function down here now says add, so I'm now in add mode. Now the, um, the other thing you do, you wanna go back into find mode. Again, you click on your binoculars there and you're back in find mode. You can also utilize the control A to go into add mode, control F to go into find mode. So that's another nice way of utilizing that information. Last thing I'm gonna show you with the user interface, and then we're gonna wrap up today's session, is I'm going to show you the um, you can also option on some of these screens. So let's call up a record. Now this time we're actually looking at a vendor, because remember, business partners in SAP Business One can be customers, suppliers, leads, so you've got all those three types, but you can add them all from the one screen. Now, um, suppliers, customers, you know, suppliers, we can also call them vendors. So this one is actually a vendor. So it's gonna show you all your customers first, then it's gonna show you your leads, then it's gonna show you your vendors if you're moving through the records one at a time using these buttons. And remember, I went to the very last record. So this is the very last vendor based on the sorting on the code. Make sense? So I've got this vendor open. You'll see I can come in here and you can say, you can also, and then you can see here, you can also view related service calls, view related activities, and so on and so forth. So again, that's a really nice piece of functionality. So if I've got this vendor here and I wanna create a purchase order, all right, not only do I have this right click functionality, but I've got this capability here that allow me to jump straight into that. So I can go in here and I wanna create a purchase order. So I simply click create purchase order and there it is. I'm now in the purchase order screen for that vendor and I'm ready to go. So hopefully you found those, um, those additional hints and tips helpful. And again, remember you can come back and watch these 15 minute fundamental sessions anytime you like. And don't forget to remind other people in your organization to take advantage of these when you've got new people starting, um, sit them down, show them how to access the 15 minute fundamentals. Uh, and hopefully they'll find the whole process of using SAP Business One even easier. See you in our next session.